Welcome back to Dirt to Daytona this week. We've got a night race at Kingsfield Raceway. $5,000 up for grabs. And folks, all I have left to say is let's go racing. $1,900 in the bank. Not enough to make any headway. So we'll see what we can do with the car we have. Got to be completely honest with you. I didn't really practice a lot. I just want to race. It's been a week. So I want to race. Things could go poorly here, but, uh, you know, we'll do what we can to get in the 15s. Lay down a top 10 qualifying. Should be all right, maybe. All right, here we go. Coming off at three and four. Dug it way too far in. Scrubbed off way too much speed. Not going to be a great lap. Petrov, oh, possibly. We'll find out right now. Didn't get down far enough. Scrubbed off way too much speed again by putting the car sideways. We'll let off the gas a little there, see if that'll work. Didn't scrub off as much speed, but still not a great All one. Right. And a 15.9. So technically, we got into where I said I wanted to, but unfortunately, we also got fifth place. I guess that was pretty okay. Let's get out to this uh, heat race. We'll let you know our finishing position there. And then you'll see us at the main. Well, we actually uh, rolled through, ended up with the fastest lap in the race with a 15-3-3. And we won our heat. So on to the A main in second place or first. I don't know, inside or outside. We don't get to pick. We'll let you know in a minute. Taking a look at the starting grid. We've got our nemesis, Mark Hunter, on the outside of us. And that's all you need to see because that's hopefully all you'll see. We need to be careful going through these first part of the race here and try to be clean. Um, that's probably our biggest problem is getting through the first lap or two in traffic and having issues like we're about to. Plug Hunter a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Somebody's always a rocket ship over us on this, so that'll be its own challenge. But for now, we're going to see what we can do to uh, run clean, run fast, hit our marks, and walk away with maybe our first victory, which would be huge. Money, money, money. Of course, winners make more money, and more money means better parts, and better parts mean more wins. Let's uh, shut our asses up real quick so we can focus because Ginter has made it to our bumper and tried to wipe us out. Therefore, we'll do the same to him. Oh, whoa, whoa, Ginter, 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 Ginter. Alright, halfway through the race, there's Hunter, who started on the outside of us, and now he's being lapped, so nothing wrong with that. Didn't have quite the car he thought he would, apparently. We are still leading this race. So many people who I've seen do these uh, dirt track part of this series run these like the shortest percentage you can run them. And I'm sorry, I mean, good for them, that's how they want to do their content, that's fine, but we're running 50% races. And that means we've got longer races, so maintaining leads when you can make a lot of mistakes is a big deal. We're a second and a half ahead of second place. They are trying to reel us in, depending on what happens with the uh, lap traffic right there. Hopefully we can pull away a little bit. Otherwise, we have got a fight on our hands as it's Campbell who's come out of nowhere and is trying to reel us in. It was Fazioli, who is now nine seconds behind. We did not have contact with him. We've been in the lead the entire time. So that is interesting as we are only six-ish seconds away from lapping him after he was only two seconds away from us. Campbell doing his best Superman of the Trek impression right here. As he is catching us in a hurry, we will not allow that to happen when he gets to our bumper or something. I will do my best to put him out of this race. I'm not losing to some BS like that, that's for sure. 
And you don't run a race like this basically flawlessly the whole time only to have some fake stuff happen in the game where a car comes up on you like this tries to ruin it for you. Now, I don't know how long those little quick bursts last, but it seems like we gapped them a little bit there. We'll see if we can get to this lap traffic, and that way we don't have to spin them out. We'll just lap these cars a second time for two of the three. Whoop, whoop. Maybe we're going to have to deal with it right now. Shoot. All right. Well, as usual, I talk, and on dirt, it's hard to talk. I can talk on the other ones because concrete makes more sense, whatever, but dirt track is very hard to concentrate on because you hit that apron at all and it wrecks your entire flipping day and here we go Campbell's right there we'll get the lead back Let's see what I can do to just keep him behind us well that was a mistake on my part so Ooh, a little bit of his car came off there see what happens here when he goes into the corner is he gonna lose it no he maintains it he now has the lead again Five to go, so we're going to have to do something here. Nope, we're not going to get to it. I'm not going to blow my car just to try to get to him. So, again, the game kind of screws us. We don't have a fully upgraded car. The super speed car comes out of nowhere and is now gapping us by almost a second now at a second. So, that's frustrating to say the least. We don't have enough time, I don't think, to catch him. In the straights, he puts a pretty nice gap on us. We try to catch him in the corner a little bit. We're not getting a good drive off the corner. Now I'm going to hit the wall. So unless somehow this lap traffic is going to cause an issue with it, we are going to play second. Good to go. Nope. Lap traffic moved right out of his way. And now Ginter has caught us. Well, we're fighting for our lives to maintain second place. Thankfully, uh, the 424 car moved out of the way. I don't know who that is. Actually, I think that was Fozzie is 424. Oh, Ginter decides he wanted to try for the corner. He gets blown up by what I think was Fazioli. Yeah, 424 is Fazioli. He wipes out Ginter. We get second place in the race. And there you have it, top five, Campbell, Savoy, Bean, Brant, and Higgins. Tip of the cap to Fazioli for taking out Ginter. And Fazioli actually was really close to going ahead and passing him. 16.4 seconds. We had lapped him by two seconds, so he was only about a second behind Ginter. And he could have had that seventh place finish. Fazioli, we are a fan. Well, we walk out of that one with over $3,000. Still going to keep us just a bit short from upgrading anything. Jumping into our news article. Joe Fazioli is at the top of the standings. Oh, we still would like to beat him overall, but we have mad respect for him. Tony Savoy is in second place, looking to make a move with seven races remaining. Oh, seven? Really? Well, here we are. 24 points behind Joe Fazioli. There we are. Just over 5000 total dollars. And our next race will take us to Anoka City Speedway. That is a 12.30 p.m. race, $4,500 up for grabs. Before that, though, we have a new couple new sponsors on the car. Got to get a new paint scheme. Next thing you'll see, though, is us heading out for qualifying. Well, um, we'll see. <laughs> Here it is, the lap. Let's see what we can do. Go way too high. Scrub off some speed. Tap the brake to turn it. Didn't really turn much at all. Scrub off some speed. And finish with a 16.9, which is not a good lap for us at all. So hopefully we get top 10. All right, seventh place. Excellent. We've got our heat race, then it's the main. Yeah, I messed up on that last lap, clicked the wall, but we still came home with first place. So we'll be on the front row for the main. Taking a look at your starting grid on the outside, we have Danny Diamond. That's kind of impressive. And then of course us, ta-da. 
Good news, we don't even see Hunter on the screen. We're gonna do something we don't normally do. We're not gonna talk for this first couple laps. Alright, the tone has sort of been set. Our best bet would be that we're able to catch Fulton, but at this point, second or third place might be our only option. The reason why I say third place is because we still haven't seen what car is going to magically be super fast. I messed that up. I messed that up bad. And I'm going to touch the apron. Oh, we got lucky there. I was able to feather the gas through that. That's a wall. We're riding the wall. We're stuck on the wall. I couldn't get off of the wall. I was completely stuck on the wall. So now we have our work cut out for us. And I'm going to focus up. Halfway point of the race, it's been a struggle. We look like we've been in a de destruction derby instead of a freaking dirt track oval race, but uh, we're doing the best we can. We're in fifth place. That is not the goal. Top threes all the way through, or victories, of course, are the overarching goal, but we have damaged this car quite a bit in this race, and I don't think we can even catch fourth place unless some lap traffic messes with other cars and not with us. I don't know who this guy is right here, but he's hugging the inside. See if I can squeeze. Well, I'll squeeze him that way. Whatever I got to do, I got to be honest with you. I'm not sitting here trying to worry about a lap car on a dirt track. Now, again, we're on oval tracks. It's a little different. We're on concrete, paved, whatever. It's completely different. But right now, as it stands, no. That was... Whoever I wiped out just T-boned our guy Fazioli, so I don't appreciate that. But, uh... We are not gaining on Truett much at all. I really haven't found much of a groove here. I'm able to pass the lap cars. Get to them, pass them, whatever, but not much more than that. Uh, Truett caught behind Danny Diamond here, but... It's not, it's not really doing much, because... We had a lap car that went ahead and fought us back when I tagged him in a corner, so that's how that went. Diamond doing the right thing, running high. Do our best not to touch him at all. We'll touch him. We'll touch him. I don't know what's up with the car. Car is pulling to the right, probably from all the damage. I couldn't fight that down the straightaway. Car just was pulling right into him. And of course, with that... Truett goes ahead and pulls back out ahead by three seconds. I mean, just driving away from us right now. So I don't feel real confident that we have any shot of gaining or catching him. He makes short work of another lap car in front of him. So fifth place might be our best chance. We still got to keep Kato off of us. It's not just a gimme with six laps to go. Are we going to be able to pull that off? I don't know, but... True, it looks like he wants to make make it a race against uh, Fulton. I'm not really sure. Five laps to go. Here we go, though. Coming up on another lap car. Hoping to cut to the... I'm going to stay on the outside here and see if I can just ride it hard, fast around the outside and get that good grip and drive off, and I was able to. That was pretty nice. I almost started by taking the back or taking the wall with the rear end so not lucky there but yeah look at that they're just driving away from us I have a feeling we have some good damage on the car yeah front right damage entire body has some damage on it it all affects you we're even running kind of hot right now so that's concerning but uh you know we do what we can finish this race top five hopefully and uh true it though six tenths off five tenths off of Fulton he's really gonna he's gonna try to battle him as they get to the end of the race here we're on the final or two to go 
Uh, we are on the last lap because of the white flag, but uh, it's because we're close to getting lapped, I think. These two guys battling each other. Um, we've caught two seconds on them. I don't know if they ran into each other or got caught up in lap traffic. It's not going to matter for us. There's no way we can make up four and a half seconds in one lap unless they both spin each other out, which would be fantastic. But instead, we found our nice little bubble spot here. Five, six seconds in front of Kato as he clearly wiped out based on what happened there with the time going up and up and up. Um, last car on the lead lap, top five. We'll take it. It's not a loss. Only $1,300 in that race. It's not great. Well, we had a mixed day, finishing the middle of the pack. Jeff Fulton. Josh Ginter took the checkered flag as we had a mixed day. Well, there it is. Taking a look at the race results, top five, Ginter, Peterson, Truett, Fulton, and then us. We are now in first place overall, as unfortunately Fazioli did not have a good race in that last race, unfortunately for him. Good for us. But now we've got Ginter, he with his win, He's trying to make a battle for it, sitting just 10 points behind us. We need to do well. Not sure what we can do. With $6,300 in the bank, we are sitting midway through the season. We will be running Baxter Fairground Speedway to start the next episode. But folks, that is going to do it for this episode. I do want to take a moment out to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, take care.